little late for the sound check on the PA system. That's no sound check. What's that? It's Jim Hardinger! Hey, hey, cool it, man. Look, we need to play these guys, you know? There's no difference between them and the Jets. We need to play these guys with these guys. They don't have any difference between them and the Jets. Cool it? <laughs> Look, just act like you've been here before. Stop a curry! We've never been here before. Hey, 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 Corey! Don't be touching no one. Hello and welcome everyone to Shanghai. I'm Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. We have a very special presentation of the NBA All-Star Global Tour as the NBA stars play an exhibition match against the Shanghai Bears. Boy, you can't be anything but in awe of this roster the NBA has put forth. Listen to these names. Curry, LeBron, Hart, and Harris. One of the best teams the world has ever seen. And we hear all the time about super teams in the NBA. Well, this is what a super team looks like. Well, this should be a fun game for the fans of Chinese basketball, the NBA, and everyone alike. And so off the tip, it's the NBA stars. And I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge all the hard work that's been put in to make this exhibition game a reality. Clark, a wonderful event for everyone involved. It's been a blast for me coming out to China for this tour. I don't know about you guys, but I've loved it. I think everybody can agree it's been a success. And I wouldn't be surprised to see the NBA look to make this a tradition like no other. Well executed, and then you love the strong finish. Fantastic speed on the break. Speed kill, showing no mercy in transition there, partner. They grab their own miss. Rejected by AI. And really a big part of shot blocking, timing. AI showing that he's capable of being a shot blocker. And Clark, you look at the roster for Shanghai. A few former Americans on it. Playing overseas is becoming a bit more of a common path for a lot of players. I mean, China in particular has done a good job of making the most of players who just weren't ready for the NBA or were on the tail end of their careers. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. And good at taking it to the rack. Wei Li stays assertive and takes advantage of the opportunity. Pass to James. Now Davis, 16 feet away, and good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Boy, and the fans here tonight have been fantastic. A full house coming out to see a lot of global icons. And with players like LeBron, Curry, and Harden, uh, they are huge names worldwide. And for many here in China, this is the only chance to see them in person. And just a good job of getting a high percentage look. Davis knows how to put himself in position to attack. Pass to Brooks. Curry with the steal. Here's the break. Here's Antetokounmpo. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Yeah, I remember G.A. as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. Well, on some levels, it seems almost unfair for any team to have to try to compete against this roster of NBA stars. But tell you what, you've got to like what you've seen from this Shanghai side. I mean, they know how to work together, and they're, uh, they've got great chemistry. Now here's Curry. Pass to LeBron. Brooks grabs the board. And for AI, he was a player, uh, Greg, who was strong in college, entered the draft, but couldn't find a team to take the risk picking him. Yeah, and, and him not getting drafted might have been a case of AI getting misinformation about where he was slated to be picked. Uh, he'll have his chance to show what he can do versus NBA talent here tonight. 
no excuse playing off AI like that. He's a threat to shoot as soon as he touches it. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. And the dunk by James. And, you know, it's a great treat to see LeBron James here in this exhibition. I mean, he's one of the biggest stars to ever play and going stronger than ever at this late stage in his career. Right now, it's hard to argue that he isn't the face of basketball. Shanghai trailing. Pass to Ho Dong. To the inside. Here's AI. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on Damian Lillard. How about that? A little tricky with the pump fake there. Once AI gets you in the air, it's over. You're done. As you said, LeBron James is a star among stars here in this exhibition. Yeah, and LeBron is one of the most famous athletes in the world. And, and it is great. He, he would be willing to come on a tour like this. Says a lot about his commitment to growing the NBA. You know, seeing AI in action for the first time in a while here, it's clear he's worked on his game, showing a lot of poise going up against this team of NBA stars. Rejected by AI, and he recovers it. And that one's good, Lillard. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Odong guarded by Harden. Pass to Brooks. Score the basket is third after five shots. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Lillard outside. Over to the wing. Towns with it. Working on Sheng. Rejected by AI. Well, you can't come to China and not talk about the biggest connection the country has with the NBA. And, of course, Clark, that is the great Yao Ming. And, you know, there have been a number of players that have played here in the Chinese League and the NBA, but Yao Ming undoubtedly helped build the bridge between China and the U.S. in terms of pro basketball. A great ambassador for the sport. And here's Harden. Outside, George. From deep. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. The Bears on top, leading by just one. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And guys, what's your take on the Bears so far? Just playing suffocating defense. That's been the difference here for them. You know, Greg, I love watching this team get after it on defense. I mean, they play with a bit of edge and nastiness. Like any exhibition game, I'm a little reserved in my expectations around the effort that either team will put forth. I mean, the NBA stars will probably liking this to competing in the All-Star game, but I certainly hope they don't play like an All-Star game. Let's play some real basketball out here. And the Bears call time here. All-Star game effort usually mean relaxed defense, and it should be that way as this isn't meant to be a competitive atmosphere. Yeah, and that tends to be the case for All-Star games and showcase games like this. But I wouldn't be shocked if the game stays close to see both sides kind of ramp it up in terms of intensity and try and get the win. The Bears with the lead. Greg, a lot of groups came together for this NBA Stars. And so we wrap up the first half. It's the Stars up by 10. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. You only doubt by 10 at the half. That's good. Keep the pressure. Hey, don't worry about that. I got plenty of it. I'll be at the bench. Yo, man, how you been? I look for your warm-ups. Just missed you. Likewise, you know, uh, coach matched us up this half, and uh, I'm all in. <laughs> okay, I feel you. Hey, 
Hey, how about this? A wager. Our flight's later tomorrow afternoon. You free for dinner? Show me a rent. Whoever scores the least points buys. <laughs> All right, bet. Nothing sweeter than a free meal. I'm about to put on a show. I'm glad to see nothing's changed. You ready? Yeah. And thank you for joining us on our NBA All-Star Global Tour. It's the second half of our broadcast between the NBA stars and the Shanghai Bears. And the NBA stars did what they do best. But you have to give credit to this Shanghai team now. I mean, they've stayed in it. And playing in front of their fans has kept the Bears full of energy. You expect the NBA players to turn it on at any point, though. Another half on the way in what has been a fantastic exhibition so far. Well, you look out there, a little bit of a reunion going on on the floor. I mean, fans will remember that both Harris and A.I. played together in college for a season. Now, here's Curry. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And one of the best big men in the game, Davis continuing to prove how dominant he is. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. Both good from the line that time. Here's G. He's got five. Outside, way. Pass to AI. Here's G. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. You got to give G. Chow props, major props. He's really good at scoring even under pressure. James outside. Curry. Now here is Harris, covered by G. And Corey Harris hits from deep. And one thing with Harris, he has shown great leadership skills, guys, since joining the league. Clark, you've said that before. Well, you know, he was a leader in college, and we saw him immediately step into that same role with the Lakers. Very few players are wired for that, but I think Harris is one of them. Count that one. Up and in on every one of their first three shots to start the second half. The NBA stars in the lead. Curry deciding where to go with it. Fades. And that one's good, James. In some ways, this is the glue to LeBron's offense. Unstoppable from mid-range. To the middle. Here's Brooks. Makes it off the glass. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight makes. And so here are the stars. Up top, Curry. Back to James. Harris, way defending. Unloads from 13. Harris's shot is off. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. And one of the standout players to keep an eye on for this Shanghai team is Wei Li. Very talented guard. And he could draw some interest from NBA teams. Davis with the block. What a play by Davis. You think you can get it over me? Nuh-uh. Not on my watch. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. You're right on target there, Greg. Of the last 10 points they've allowed, eight have come from in close. Time called here as the Stars want to talk it over. Even though it's an exhibition game, a good performance for Wei Lee or guys anyone could lead to an NBA team bringing them in for a look. And if I were going to guess on anyone, it, it would be Wei getting a look from over here. From what I've heard, he's a very mature leader for this Shanghai team. Here's Cousins, and then Cousins with the dunk. 
And it's so good, Clark, to see DeMarcus Cousins out on the floor after his Achilles injury and healthy. You know, coming back from an Achilles tear is no easy task, fellas. I mean, Cousins is one of the more colorful and talented figures in basketball and one of the most impactful big men in the NBA when he's at full strength. Terrific timing on that pass, placing it in a great spot, ideal spot where his teammate could score. Now, here's Ho Dong, guarded by Harden. And here comes the break. Launches the three. And the Stars, another three. And, you know, the level of play we've seen from Harden, guys, the last few seasons, absolutely incredible. I mean, arguably, he should have won the NBA MVP awards multiple times, but he won it last season with another incredible year. Fast break. Here we go. It's hauled in by the Bears. Guys, there's still time for them to make a run. Can't have any wasted possessions down the stretch. He gets it in there. And you can sense the urgency from them now. They were flat in that first half, but they've come out here in the second and been much more aggressive offensively. Now, here's George. And that one hits back iron. Now, here's Ho Dong. Not a lot of room. AI left side. The 10 footer. Again, Shanghai. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Yeah, you know, Lillard is so quick and shifty. Um, just impossible to slow him down on the offensive end. And Lillard just has that knack for taking over a game with his offense. When he is locked in, he is second to none in his ability to score from inside and beyond. You know, George is a lot more physical than he looks, and he's not shying away from contact on these shots. This is his first trip to the line tonight. The throw good, Paul George. The Stars making a switch here. And George drops them both. Right wing. Back to AI. And he drops in the way up off the glass. As soon as AI turns it on, guys, I think you just let him do his thing and get out of the way. And here's George for three. No good there. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Stars out in front. They lead by 12. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. And so here are the stars. Lillard looking around. Pass to Persingas. Rebounded by the Bears. Brooks with it. And he makes good on the layup. That's all a big ticker from AI. I mean, these sequences demonstrate how devastating he can be in transition. Uh, you know, what can you say about Corey Harris? Incredibly talented and has made an impact for the Lakers since day one. Um, he's one of the more complete players you'll ever get to see. I mean, he should be a star in the NBA for a long time. That one good for two. Well, i tell you what, really good body control that time by Towns and that's fairly unusual for a guy of his size. And the Bears call time here. And you spoke about Harris. The game comes so easy to him. Yeah, he, he just simplifies the game, doesn't he? Everything he does on the floor comes just so effortlessly. And that is something you rarely see from a player so early in his career. Here's Shanghai. Down by 12. Down low. Here's Brooks. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. AI putting in work on his interior game. He's actually looking more and more confident from there. And, you know, when you see Curry out in an exhibition like this, you can't help but think about how he has completely changed the way players think about offense. I mean, kids all over the world are trying to emulate his play style, which is ball handling, mastery, and shot making extraordinaire. 
and it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. Stolen by A.I. It's stolen by Dejacumbo. James outside. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Pass to Persingas. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Curry, without a doubt, the greatest shooter of all time. It's hard to argue against Curry at this point. I'd go even further and say he's the most impactful shooter with the way he has revolutionized and really changed the game. Well, a chance to see Perzingis here recovered from his injury, and we can only hope that he's at full strength from here on out. Yeah, playing in a game like this, getting some light reps in, I think that's a good step. You just want him to be on the court as much as possible for the NBA season as he is one of the most exciting players in our league. You know, guys, we've been told G. Chow has an incredible work rate. He helps set the tone for this team and is considered a true leader. James outside. Porzingis. And the dunk by Porzingis. And just great offensive execution by both sides, leaving nothing on the table. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Greg, both of these teams completely aligned in sync right now. I mean, they are torching the Nets late in this ball game. And the Bears call time here. And they've been very loose with the ball here. They haven't been as patient, forcing things a bit, which has led to turnovers. They need to just slow down and relax. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Now here's Curry. Harden inside the three-point line. And it's good off the back rim and in. That's really just the confidence Harden has in himself. I mean, he's ready to shoot it as soon as he catches it. Outside way. Pass to Brooks. Over Davis. Davis with the block. Second shot opportunity. That one goes in. Defensive rebounding, just such a crucial part of the game. Yeah, it's finishing your defense, Greg. We know that. You can defend, then you got to rebound the miss, and you got to get to the glass with intensity. Outside Curry. They get it again. Back to Anadokounmpo. To the inside. Curry's shot is good. And with the height to see over the defense, the eyes to spot the open man. Giannis continues to flourish as a facilitator. On the wing, Whaley. Back to AI. And that one is good. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. And so far, no go. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. And it's Davis missing. You know, guys, if you talk to fans of the Chinese League, they'll tell you that Wei is one of the better players. I mean, he's smart, and he's a guy who can do a lot of damage at the offensive end. And that's exactly what you want to see. When G performs in the clutch, people rise up and take notice. The NBA stars in the league. Harden, guarded by Gung. Pass to Davis. Over Brooks, second chance shot, and Davis lays it in. He's just beating everybody to the board, using his length, his skill set. The big fella Davis getting it done. Now here's Gung. It's good, and now they trail by just four. Big players, guys, make big plays. Gung, chance. terrific poise at a critical spot in the game.
LeBron with it. Outside Curry. LeBron. 13 feet away. And that one, good. Oh, great awareness. No reason to take it inside there against the taller man. Yeah, he knew he had him beat, Greg. I mean, that was clear. Took advantage of the space he had and then calmly and quietly drained it from the mid-range. That's good basketball. And he commits the intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that makes... Well, it seemed inevitable that the NBA stars handle their business, and they didn't disappoint as they come out on top over... Hi, team guys, for making this closer than many would have thought, but when you go up against the best of the best, there's not a lot you can do, even in an exhibition game. And there's just no way possible to slow down a roster like this. Not with LeBron, Curry, Harris, and the others being unguardable. I don't think there's another group on the planet that can compete. This well, that'll do it for us. We hope you've enjoyed this star stuff affair. What has been a great night for basketball across the globe. For Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Holland. We'll see you next time. You really do your thing tonight. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Good job. Yo, Corey. <laughs> I, I got to admit, we didn't expect it, but you guys got a lot of real talent on this team across the board. Hey, I told you I was going to put on a show, huh? <laughs> hey, Shanghai's a real good spot for you to land, man. The details, I was almost there. It's close. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It's just encouragement. I, I didn't mean it. Man, I played my guts out there tonight, man. I earned... Man, I knew that you would do this. Every single time. It's like, you can't even let me have one, can you? you can... Hey, Zane, come l l Listen. Okay, you got me. Okay, fair enough. Zane, no one likes to be showing up. It's your time. Hey, you need me to stick around, handle some of these guys for you? I'll give you your due. Nah, man, thanks. We got this. We'll talk later, okay? I'll see you at dinner. Who's got the first question? Hey, 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 what area is that? Uh, oh, uh, God, not sure to tell you the truth. The, um, that building, it's the, uh, uh, what's it called? I'm forgetting. It's, um, man, I, I really don't know. You know, I, I never checked it out. Hey, have you taken a trip up the river? Uh, sorry, I don't know what it's called either. The PR sorry, lady man. told us. Wang Po, Wang Poo, does that sound familiar? Yes, it sounds Chinese if that's what you ask me. <laughs> you don't get out much, do you? I mean, you know, if I wake up, go to practice, I'm home. I mean, it can't be that much different than you, right? Oh, me? No, man. I get cabin fever all the time. Sometimes I just gotta take a day and go to the beach. Maybe take a trip to the mountains. See, I like to touch every new city that I'm in. Just see what's out there. Man, if it's not basketball, I'm probably not going. I mean, but you still get to live in a cool place like this and play ball. Yeah, but this place is just a step for me. Like, I'm trying to get my numbers up so I can get back home, you know? Get back to where I can have a real career. Yeah, but what if this is the last time that you're ever in this city? I mean, look around. This place is amazing. And as far as a career goes, it wouldn't hurt to slow down. People can recognize desperation as much as talent. <laughs> Man, that's easy for you to say. You're already in the NBA. No? Okay, okay. Never mind, man. I see where you're at. Hey. That's not what I think it is, is it? Now, that's the one place I do get out to. Boom. No way. <laughs> it's a classic 2K. Yep. Can't believe they still have yeah, it. Yeah, man. It's the only one in town. Yo, you remember when we used to play your brother's copy in the dorm? Because <laughs> everyone was too cheap to buy the new console. How could I forget? <laughs> I remember back then that was the one game I let you win on. Oh, see, I know what you're trying to do, but it's not going to work. All the tournaments that I won? All right, one game. One game. Let's get it. That's all I need.
The league's best record as we begin the 2008 season belongs to the Boston Celtics. Tonight, they play host to another defensive juggernaut, the Houston Rockets. Good evening, everyone. Alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks so much for joining us. Clark, this is a team that plays very well at home. No doubt about it, Kevin. They've only lost one game here on their home court. Look at the Rockets. They have their hands full and their work cut out for them tonight. They certainly will. And looking to interrupt a six-game winning streak by the hottest team in the league. With their star tandem of Yao Ming and Tracy McGrady, they are capable. Should be a good one. An uneven start to this season for the Rockets. Uh, so far, a losing record. They have struggled to live up to expectations. And the starting lineups for the Rockets, Bobby Jackson and Tracy McGrady in the backcourt, Shane Battier and Luis Scola, the forwards, and the big man in the middle, Yao Ming. And the Celtics, second-year guard Rajon Rondo at the point alongside Ray Allen. Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett at the forwards. And Leon Poe will hold down the center. You know, Clark, last season, the Rockets arguably one of the five best teams in the NBA, but they didn't make it out of the first round. Yeah, they, you know, they came close, Kevin, a tough defeat in game seven by the Jazz. The Rockets haven't made it out of the first round in over a decade, though. That's a pretty long drought. It is indeed. Yeah, getting theirs before the defense can set up. Perfect execution. That's how you take advantage of a transition opportunity. And Clark, you look at the Rockets, obviously McGrady and Yao Ming are the focal points, but do they have enough around them to contend for an NBA title? You know what, Kevin? I think they're deep enough. You know, they've got smart veteran role players, intriguing young ballers, but Yao and T-Mac have certainly got to lead the way. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Rondo finds Garnett. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Garnett, very comfortable close to the basket now. He's efficient as a low block score. Passes to Battier. To the paint, here's Yao. Terrific assist, a nice finish, solid play all around. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Boy, it's a thing of beauty watching him attack the defense like that. I mean, they wanted no part of him on that layup. Now here's Pierce. Puts it up from 15. Rebound by Yao. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Out to Battier and out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. You know, that's not how you distribute the ball. It needs to be more focused when making passes like that. Here's Rondo. Garnett outside. Over Hayes, and Garnett misses. Cannot give him that much room for mid-range. They got to feel lucky he didn't knock that one down. And so the first quarter is in the books. Rockets lead by four. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And when you consider how the Rockets are doing, guys, what do you think? Uh, listen, early on taking the league, I just like their approach offensively. Yeah, I like it, too. They're doing a great job working the ball around, staying aggressive, and capitalizing, too. And, and just amazing to see the turnaround here in Boston with the big three. A, a franchise with a tremendous history. How about a league leading 16 championships? This roster might have a chance to deliver even more hardware. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. Taking a look at the Rockets, they've got Tracy McGrady. Shane Battier is out there with Hayes. And it's Mutombo, and it's Jackson, and at the point guard position. Tony Allen's checked in for Allen. And a change for the Rockets. Heads checked in. The Rockets shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. And coming off a two-year playoff drought, the Celtics trades this summer transformative, Clark, to say the least. Yeah, you got that right, partner. I mean, all of a sudden, a team now with three potential Hall of Famers, that makes them a legit contender. That's, that's a lot of star power on one team, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, and it usually takes multiple all-star caliber players to contend for championships. 
You know, a two-game homestand here for the Celtics coming off a road trip where they won all four, bookending the trip with big wins in Sacramento and L.A. And the Lakers, a great team in their own right. The Celtics beat them by 19 points, and they're just in a heck of a group. McGrady, that's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Concentration on display. This is why McGrady's a top player in my mind. I mean, he makes tough, contested shots inside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Oh, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. The Celtics shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. And Garnett, a vocal leader, always trying to psych his guys up and get into the head of the opponent. Paul Pierce has checked in for Boston. The Rockets also changing it up. Yao checked in for Matumbo. And Carl Landry has subbed in for Chuck Hayes. And, and well for the Rockets, two superstar talents in Tracy McGrady and Yao Ming. When healthy, they've shown they can play with anybody. He's really starting to ramp it up now, getting involved in the offense here after being held without a point in the first. Outside Rondo. Garnett outside. Over Yao. Good work defensively by Yao. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Rockets on top. Up four. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Nice game. Great performance by Tracy McGrady. Oh, well, they've done a good job of letting the game come to them and really few four shots here so far. And, you know, Greg, I like how they've set the pace. There's a lot of time left in this one, so there's no rush. You don't have to go 70 miles an hour. Keep it at about 45. And what a difference a year makes. This time last season, the Celtics had just a 10 and 19 record, bottom four in the East. This season, 26 and three best in the league. Perkins is out there with Garnett. Then there's Allen. And it's Rajon Rondo. And it's Pierce in at the small forward position. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. We've got 118 left to play in the third. And a new look roster Clark for the Celtics. The big trades of the draft for All-Stars, Ray Allen and Kevin Garnett. It has come together quickly for him. Boy, it sure has, Kevin. I mean, they really hit the ground running. And quite honestly, I think it's one of the most dramatic turnarounds you'll ever see. And they bring a lot of leadership, too, don't these two guys? Yeah, not only talent and experience, but you're right. These are guys that know what it takes to win at a high level. Man, what a big turnaround for the Celtics defensively. Is it as simple as adding Kevin Garnett? Or is there more to it? Uh, Rondo, the head of the snake, coming into his own. Vets like Tony Allen and Kendrick Perkins, also difference makers defensively. To the middle, here's Garnett. It's deflected, and he recovers it. Houston leading by nine. Patty A for three. And Pierce pulls it down. Nobody near Allen. It's good from long range. Allen's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And this is where you milk the clock. Yeah, that's the intelligent play here, Greg, no doubt. No reason to chuck up some garbage shot. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. to Cassell from deep and the Celtics hit again from deep now here's Brooks misses there and we've reached the end of the third Rockets lead by four and we're coming right back after this break to
And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And so Allen will bring it up for the Celtics. Trailing by four. And the Rockets coming off a 17-point loss on their home floor to the, we believe, Golden State Warriors. Yeah, Kevin, the Warriors outshot them and outboarded them. And the Rockets will have to do a ton better tonight if they want to get a W. So on the floor for Houston, Carl Landry is out there with Steve Novak. Then it's Brooks, and it's Matumbo, and it's Francis, and it's the two. But they'll get another chance. Matumbo passes to Novak. Now the dish to Brooks. Four on the shot clock. And it's blocked by Brown. Matumbo kicks to Landry. Back to Matumbo. Houston moving it around. Pass to Brooks. Moves back up. He feeds it to Matumbo. And the shot goes in. Matumbo's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Rockets. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're behind by six. 104 left to play in the final quarter. Some changes for Boston. Perkins is checked in for Brown. Garnett comes in for James Posey. Ajan Rondo subbed in for Cazell. Garnett wide open. And that one off the back of the rim and in. You know, the mid-range day of Garnett is a thing of beauty. Textbook release from the big man. And this is Doc Rivers' fourth season coach in the Boston Celtics. Clark overall, 13 years as a player. He was an all-star. Now eight years as a coach in the league. Well, I know my math numbers. That adds up to well over uh, two decades in the league. He's an experienced hand to guide this veteran group. Out to the right wing. Rondo with a clean look. The three-pointers off the mark. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Yao, he's checked in for the Rockets. Mattier comes in for Steve Novak. And it's Houston's ball. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Jackson with the bounce pass. And at a certain point, there's just nothing more you can do. This is it. This one's over, folks. Too little, too late. And he just lives for the moment. Rondo there coming up big time for his team when they need it most. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. And so both free throws are good, and it's a six-point ball game. Job well done at the line on that possession. They'll make things a little easier on themselves if they can convert those. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trailing by six. 29 seconds left in the game. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. Sinks it. And now they trail by just four. And this is why Rondo is so special. A proven champion who time and time again comes up big in critical stretches of the game. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. And so it's Boston with it. Garnett outside, wants to get it to Rondo and does. It's in! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Pierce has just simply been sensational. And now they foul and stop the clock. And you know what? Smart foul. you got to try and extend the game. Sure. It's not over. The clock is as much a problem for them as the score is right now, so they've got to try to manage it. Second free throw. No good that time. He really wanted that one. Well, I tell you what, Bobby Jackson gives his team a really nice spark, Kevin. He's a bona fide scorer who can knock it down from anywhere and plays with such energy. It's infectious and contagious. Timeout call for Rockets. They trail by one. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. McGrady. Oh, that shot had a chance, but no good. And the 
Boston Celtics extend their winning streak to seven. Clark, believe it or not, it's only the third longest win streak of this young season. Yeah, they're in a nice groove, and you look at this team up close, you can't help but come away. Very impressed. They're loaded. The way the pieces fit and the chemistry they possess, amazing after just 30 games. Certainly. a team to be reckoned with. And yeah. <gasps> that's what I'm talking. That's <sighs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> right. Uh, hey, well, hey, man, it's, it's getting late. You know, I, I should start heading back soon. Oh, man, I'm, I'm my bad. I got a little carried away. You don't want to try for another round? Uh, you know, practice, man. Like, got to build on some nice momentum, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 that works. I'm headed back to L.A. tomorrow. It's a long flight. Nah, it is. Uh, actually, no, I don't. I'm stuck here, remember? You know, it was really good to see you, A.I. And I hope you find a place that you feel comfortable in soon. <laughs> okay. See, there it is again. Do you actually listen to yourself when you talk? I'm just trying to walk up out of here like we're friends. No, okay? it's That's so it. condescending, though. I mean, like, I hope you find a place where you feel comfortable. I like, mean what it. is. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you do. Look, maybe things aren't exactly the way that you, you dreamed right now, but look at where you are. What you do, it's a privilege. <laughs> it's always funny how folks who lecture you about, about privilege and enjoying what you have. Are exactly the same people who have everything. You're missing this moment, AI. No, please keep explaining to me the hollow misery of being an NBA star, Corey. There's so much more to this game than just taking the final shot or putting up your numbers. And that's always been your problem. Yeah, okay. Thanks, coach. Hey, be real with yourself. How much do you know about your teammates in Shanghai? Or even back with the Bulldogs? What made those guys hungry? Where their hearts lived? You never cared about anyone but yourself, AI. And they all see it. And until you do, this is exactly as far as you'll go. No way. Yo, this is insane. What? No. Man. You kidding, man? Hey, wait. Yo, hey, remember that video, the dunk on Corey, the one that went viral? Check this out, man. It's being retweeted everywhere. Hey, coach looking for you. Oh, uh, all right, cool. <laughs> hey, man, I'm, I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. AI? You know, I you have been steadily improving this season. You know I don't normally administer personal praise or do it well. <laughs> uh, I, I know, sir. I'm, I'm saying, um, you do. I just, I know what you're saying. Uh, thank you. Our office has received inquiries about you, about your status with the team. My status? Your contract. Are, are you trading me? Sir, you said yourself, I'm playing the best ball I've ever played. There's no other team in China I'd rather play with. I've, I've, I've made a life with this. Basketball is your life. You're right. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not up to me. Office has received a transfer request. Is this about that video? The one I made that went viral? They noticed it, didn't they? I guess that's what happens when you dunk on Corey Harris. It has nothing to do with your slam dunk video. Wait, he understood that? Has he heard everything I said since I've been on this team? Yes. Even the thing I said about... Yes. Yeah, okay. My bad. The terms are satisfactory. You need to leave as soon as possible. Where am I going?
Welcome to LA, sir. Thanks, man. You ready to go? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, like, this is weird, but I was just so excited to see signs written in English. <laughs> LA, baby. I have arrived. Oh, by the way, man, I am so sorry about this, but I didn't have time to change my yuan into dollars for a tip. It's all taken care of, sir. It is? Okay. <laughs> Gotta love the Lakers. Hey. Glad I found you. How's it going there? Uh, just uh, wrapping up in there. Oh, yeah, it's great, man. Hey, look, I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, airport traffic was totally brutal. No worries. We're used to it. I'm uh, Darren Stackhouse, coach of the South Bay Lakers. Yeah, yeah, it's a G League team, right? Hey, Marcy, you got a read on my lunch? I want a tuna and cheese on seven grain bread, and none of these sprouts they like to stick in there. There's no seven grain. And I've been to this place, and I've seen the cheese, and it's buyer beware. So, so what are you going to give me, a little bowl of tuna and slap it on a paper plate? I don't want that. They can do rye. No, no, I don't want tuna and rye. That doesn't taste tuna's good. Tuna's delicious on rye. Are you saying that because you actually believe it or because of my lack of options? Tuna's gross, so I guess the second one. Is this the guy? This is the guy. Intern's out, and I picked a short straw for lunch. I'm Marcy. I do analytics. The PR is solid, but you got to get those wind shares up if you want to stick. Got to get them uh, up. Yeah, okay. Come on, uh, let me give you the rest of the tour. That's really nice of you, coach, but I slept on the plane and I'm good to go for practice, seriously. Okay, but those guys are wrapping up in there. Practice doesn't start for another hour. Wait, they're wrapping up? Yeah, the Lakers. So, the uh, the locker room is down here, saying this is a brand new facility, our home. And your new home, what's the problem, kid? My new home. Your new home. Now listen, our roster's a little depleted this year, okay? We got some problems, but I got high hopes for you. Uh, uh, co coach, um... Stackhouse. Co yes, Coach Stackhouse. Name is Coach Stackhouse. <laughs> I don't have a manager yet to get me with, like, logistics and okay. people to help me out, right, so... Right, okay. We're listen, here now, My Chinese though. isn't all that great, okay. so... Um, sometimes things aren't completely clear. Are you saying that I left the Shanghai Bears for the South Bay Lakers? Yes. Not the Los Angeles Lakers. Did someone tell you you were coming here to play in the NBA? They, I mean, they just said, you know, L.A., and, and then 10 minutes later, I'm on a plane, and... No, I get it. I get it. That's a tough pull, kid, but, uh... It's a G League. South Bay Lakers. If you have a problem with it, please... No, no, huh? no, Coach. No I'm, problem. I'm good. Yeah, You're good. Yeah. 100%. You need a cup of water? No. <laughs> I'm good, man. Let's do it. Good, let's uh, continue this tour. I got things to do. Hey, Corey. Hey, uh, let me uh, get you real quick, man. <laughs> this is uh, this is a joke, right? This is how this is gonna go, man. I don't even wanna have the conversation. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. what conversation is that exactly? <laughs> I'm in a G League, man. I'm supposed to be a, I'm supposed to be on the Lakers, bro. I spent all this time dominating in the Chinese league. It's not enough. I put you on a poster in Shanghai. Yeah, you showed me up. You played an inspired hat. That's right, against all stars, Corey. It was a start. Is that they word? Or is that yours? Both. And to tell you the truth, you ain't even on their radar. I've seen their boards, AI. Eh? I know who they're tracking, and you're not on there. I'm only telling you because I would want to know. You know, I brought you here. At least, I called Stackhouse and he listens. 
Wait a minute, you... You're the guy from after the game in Shanghai. Who are you? My friends call me Big Toonie. It's not the name my moms gave me, but it's just as important. Oh, God, you... you you're Big Toonie? You sound surprised. Well, no, nah, no, nah, it's just... Like, when people hear about you, it's, it's like they're describing someone that doesn't really exist. That's because I'm willing to make decisions no one understands. Everyone thinks that you should be a GM, and you always turn them down. Anybody with a TV remote control can make a lottery pick. North Philly, Rucker, Greece, Lithuania. That's where I'm at home, where the game is played. I'm like an old man on the beach with a metal detector, trying to find that piece of gold no one else sees. Do you, uh, do you think that's me? Straight up? No. Wow. <laughs> but you might be. You just tried to run before you could walk across. That's why you ended up where you needed to be. Shanghai. Hmm. Then you learned how to crawl. That's why you're here. Keep grinding. But there's something more for you. Something... Something missing. Like what? Put in a word for you once, say I. Just make sure I want to do it again. AI, my man. Get over here. Hey, coach. Uh, coaches. AI. You know, everyone on this team really appreciates everything you've done. You know that, right? Well, I haven't had a chance to do anything yet, coach, but uh, I'm excited to win this team some games. And y'all need me. <laughs> we appreciate that confidence. You are going to be just fine. I have a, uh, I have a sixth sense about these things. Thanks. That, that, mean, that means a lot. So there is no easy way to say this, but the South Bay Lakers now have unlimited credit at Reggie's players and staff included. Okay. Um, I'm confused. What's Reggie's? Reggie's. Reggie's Famous Grinders, the food truck on Sepulveda. Every, every local blog, top ten, five stars on every app that matters, and we're their new local lunch stop. Oh, they make great sandwiches. The, the, the tuna melt the, is out of this world. They, they put two to three cheeses on every sandwich. It's great. Swiss and provolone. Swiss, provolone, and no rye. No rye. You, you like rye? I'm more of an Italian roll guy myself. So, um, what is going on here? Well, we, we, we made a deal. And, and Reggie's was in the deal we made. And we got a player, plus they're covering our Reggie's bill for a full year as a part of the trade. Trade for what? It's a business. It's a business, kid. Where am I going now? Have a seat. Uh, okay. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> I'm just finishing up here. <sighs> so... Um... Co 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 <laughs> Coach Cal... Just taking a nice long look at you. Welcome to the Mad Ant, son. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Glad to be here. Yeah. I appreciate you saying that with a straight face. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean to no, offend you. No, no. It's, it's Fort Wayne, Indiana. You know? I mean, here's what you need to know. The summers. The winters. Okay, we don't have any sports stations here, so we get all of our news from the Indianapolis affiliate. Okay? Let me tell you something about Indianapolis. They think they're so cool because they have, like, a restaurants and uh, a mall, schools. We don't need all that stuff in Fort Wayne, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we got other stuff here, like, um, uh, we got... Uh, basketball? Yes, like basketball. And... Um, 
Oh, you know what else we have? Amish people. Did you know that? Uh, no, sir, there's a lot of Amish people. Yeah, yeah, and they drive real slow in those little horse and buggies, I tell you what. But you know what they do? They make really great furniture. Did you know that? They can make any kind of furniture. They made this desk for me. You gotta pay them in cash, though, because they don't like to pay taxes because they hate the government. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's my theory. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, ba basketball. <sighs> Discipline, control, and respect. Does that make sense? I think... It doesn't really, now that I say it out loud. But anyway, uh, when you were at the Bulldogs, I thought you had a lot of discipline, a lot of control, but you don't respect your team. You know, you're not a team player. You gotta master that on the court and off. Well, I mean, sir, I never, you know, had much of that. I tell you what, a lot of guys, they burn out because they think their job ends at the buzzer. It doesn't. What I want you to do is to take some time to make yourself a better man, because that's gonna make the team better, okay? And if you treat Fort Wayne right, she'll pay you back in full. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it, sir. You're here because I wanted you here. So prove me right. I got you, I got you, bro, I got you. Would you just hold still? I'm only gonna do this once. All right, out. I miss, I pay for every dinner this season, all right? Enough with the speeches, Paul, throw it! All right, all right, here it comes. Ready? One, two. <laughs> hey, man, you need a little, oh, hey, hey, sorry, man. No, it's, it's all good, it's all good. Wait, wait, new guy. Uh, yeah. Hey, yo, yo, new guy. I'm Howie. AI, nice to meet you, bro. I'm the guy you'll see at the end of the bench. I think coach mostly keeps me around because he doesn't know I exist. Occasionally calls me Doug and confuses me with the equipment guy. Asks me to pick up a towel here and there. And do you? No, that's Doug's job. I don't want Doug to lose his job. Hey, um, do you know which one of these is uh, my locker? Just pick one. That's what I usually do. Or just toss my stuff in a heap in the corner. Hey, I. Lock is over there. Make sure to put a new plate on this morning. Hey, thanks, man. Hey, wait, um, you Paul Tatum, right? Yeah. <sighs> Four seasons with the Bulls, six with the Heat, <laughs> one of those with the ring. Yeah, now I'm a mad ant. We working together. Yeah, that's the plan. Man, that's awesome. You a legend. I patted my hook shot after you. Man, I am not worthy. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'm excited to see what we can do out there. Thanks. Hey, uh, can I get through real quick? No, I'm good. Look, bro, I'm gonna need you to slide over, okay? That's my locker. We'll see you on the floor. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, yo, what's up with him? Him? Is that a trick question? <laughs> no, the dude who was just by my locker, you know, only speaks in two-word verse. He actually talked? It's Marcus Young. Must be warming up to you. That's good to know. So, I hear we get you and South Bay gets a deli counter? <laughs> Point guard too, but yeah. Open tab at a sandwich shop was part of the deal. Apparently it's on all the important lists. Oh, I love lists. Okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, so, anything else I should know about this place? Okay, so it breaks down like this. The bus. Don't even waste space in your bag for one of those neck pillows. It doesn't matter. You're not gonna sleep. You know, old gym socks everywhere. You know, basically, it smells like the 70s. You keep your shower time to a minimum. It's just good business because there's always a line. You guys kinda know to look out for each other here. Come on, let's move it! The food, you already know about. Since we're always on the move, it's typically cheap and local. Local meaning a highway convenience mart or hotel vending machine if we don't have time for a longer stop. 
and we play cards. Lots and lots of cards. Buy a deck because playing Euchre or Beret with a few clubs missing just makes a bus ride that much longer. We have one of the toughest schedules in the league. And most of those travel miles are through stretches of the country that make your phone as useful as a paperweight. <laughs> Welcome to the Mad Ants. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> yeah. Yo, check this out, man. When we get out there, I want to be sure that we are clear about who I am and who you are. <laughs> hey, look, man. Coach wanted me here. Okay, that means that he thought that the Ross was missing something. It was lacking. Now, I know who I am. So if I was to take a guess about who I would say you are, I'd say you're lacking. It's my team. It's not yours. It's never going to be yours. I'm going to get my numbers. Hey, man, everyone gets numbers. But they got to be big if they mean something. Okay. Let's see who scores the most points tonight. Okay. You're on. <laughs> 